last episode, what Kirisuku did, by far my favorite Fate Zero episode. Might not be my favorite moment, because the time altered double XL went so dummy hard for me when I first saw it, but the way that Kiritsugu operates, we knew exactly how, just like, what kind of underhanded tactics he would do. He's been, he's been told to, like, blown up an entire plane just for one target in there, right? He's blown up a building during the Grail War 2 for Kaneth. But, like, what he did to Kaneth and Lancer last episode and Sola Ui with the help of Maya, just beyond cold. Just chops off Sola Ui's arm, just shoots the hand, gets rid of the fucking command spells. I thought we'd take it or something. We get rid of that. Maya is, you know, secret assassin too. Then Kaneth gets forced to signing a Gias contract, meaning, hey, I, Emi, Kiritsuko can't do anything. Now all you gotta do is make your own servant kill himself with this command spell, and then we'll let you go. And it's like, are you sure? It's like, I'll let you go. And I can't do it. Then he just starts smoking. Then Maya, bang, 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 bang. I'm like, oh. My God, and the discussion. I, I I think Lancer's fate was so cruel. <laughs> like Ryu, again, Ryunosuke and Caster, they got closure. They reached enlightenment. They went out saying "cool," and Lancer went out saying "I curse you and do Grail." Let I Diarmuid's rage fucking curse you forever. And I'm like, oh my God, I feel so bad. But that's what these get. That's what these knights get, man. That's what these knights get for pussying around, playing with their fucking chivalry. Fuck your chivalry, is what Kiritsuko said. And we get to understand a little bit more. The battlefield is no glory and honor. It is simply hell itself. And the fact that people like Saber exist to just glorify war is the reason why we have sadness and sorrow. So Kiritsuko is the anti-hero who goes on saying, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I'll simply become the absolute evil necessary to make sure all of this stops, which I think is very compelling, but with each philosophy and ideology, right? Nothing is absolutely correct. We're going to see exactly how that may be flawed, specifically with the flashback, because something has happened to him because he wanted to be a champion of justice. Saber pierced through Kiritsugu's soul when Saber said, like, nah, man, you wanted to be like a hero of justice. What happened to you? Only a flashback will tell us. Let's begin today's reaction. Church? He days back. But daddy's dead. Kane has shot him. Will he be sad about his dad's death? Or will he simply see the command spells on the ground and take it all? I wanted to see if he would smirk or something and smile as he realized that there's a shitload of command spells on the ground. No, he, he seems remorseful. He seems sad. Blame Kaneth. Now, do you think Tokyo is mad that Rise is dead? Or do you think he's mad because of what it means if Rise is dead? That there's no longer a referee that he can use behind the scenes to just rig everything for their favor? I want to believe that Tokimi doesn't give a fuck about Risei's death, but simply the consequences that come with it and how unfavorable it's going to be for him. That is the deepest V-neck. <laughs> this is a U-neck, bro. Holy shit, Gilgum has shown more cleavage than any other girl in this show so far. Oh. I thought they were blood related. Oh. Huh. Hmm? About what? The command spells? No, no, I don't know, any type of vengeance? Anger? Happiness? Are you free from his clutches? What is it? No. That's what I was saying. 
What? Your Yolamesh is hinting that Kirei secretly wanted to kill Risei himself? What? This is interesting. Aidy? Aidy's good to go. She's been charged up. しかし大丈夫この気配はマイヤさんだわおおノイツマイヤもう知るですアライアンス同盟ですか今になってトキュミパニックイリツクウシュアクセプトでしゅアクセプトアライアンスウィッドフォルインテンションオブバーサーカー
さてこの戦局をどう我らは最強のセイバーを滑るがゆえに古速に木を伺う必要もなくただ当たり前東方の見解では残念ながら今回の魔党は戦略を誤った押し付けミスミス自滅を早めているありさまだカリアブルーザーカチアガティハイガーは万に一つも許せない And that's us, right? We're the outsiders. No, Aidy's not gonna fold. Okay. Standing on business. Who are we taking out first? You and us, the last. Let's gang up on Berserker, then Ryder. You know what? You're gonna have a ceasefire? Ceasefire, my ass, bro. Kiritsuka would. He would agree to it. But have a way to just have a loophole to backstab. Bear, yeah. Ooh. Remove. Deport his ass. <laughs> Kotomine Kirei must be deported if we want our temporary truce to happen. Wow. He's scary. Really? Has the mage executor killed many of Einsburn mages before in the past? Is there some lore here? I did a little killing. Wait, after all that heated fucking di discussion last episode, Kiritsuka gave her a new present? Just a motorcycle and she's all happy about it? Alright, we made up. Okay. Oh no, I'd be so tired. Her battery is running low. Put her back into the circle. We can't show weakness. <sighs> What's gonna happen with Aidy, bro? What will her final move be? Will she be a useful pawn for Kirisugu to the bitter end and go out with a bang? Will she have like a very peaceful death? I don't know, but like, Aidy's life is pretty much over. Probably. Oh. Yeah, Einstein Secrets. And that's what Aidy is. That's what she is. The ultimate companion. To nothingness? That's right, Avalon. Instant regeneration, healing. Yeah. Okay. Avalon coming in clutch for us? Because you're fucking my husband. Madam, as someone who's received the same dick as you, I show respect. If anything, Maya probably didn't even want to think about Iris Field because of the guilt that she might even have of like, damn, I'm fucking this guy, but he has a husband. He, he already has a husband with, like, sorry, a, a wife with Iris Field. Like, if I was Maya, I would subconsciously want to avoid Iris Field due to the guilt. Damn. This is straight up a cult of Kiritsugu, bro. They're all down for his dreams and ideals. Maya's drank the Kool-Aid a long time ago. And to Aidy, that's probably like the best ending she could think about because she wants that too. You're deported. <gasps> No. No, Kirei. You can't let this happen. You just start to realize 
what happiness and pleasure might be. There's no way Kide lives. Kide. Is it time? If, if he turns around one more time, I <laughs> think to the back might be, but like, is it time? I don't know. <laughs> is it gonna happen? Gilgamesh would be down. No, 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 Kiri's actually packing up. Kiritsuku, Emiya. Don't let your dreams be dreams, bro. You need to know. Be just like you? You need to know, bro. Yeah, it's chosen you, bro. Look at your wrist. One thing. Oh my god, the darkness, bro. Oh my god, bro. The lighting change, bro. Yeah, yeah, Kiri is descending into madness if he hasn't already been mad. Let's go, Kiri. Don't back down just yet. He just needs a gentle push over the edge. Hmm. Destroy myself. Gokuro. Who called him? <laughs> it's kind of crazy how thirsty Gilgamesh is to just like play around with Kide. Like, the king of heroes is just going out of his way to teleport around multiple positions, bro. He's just like... It is kind of crazy how he acts around Kiri compared to some everyone else. To everyone else, he's like, Zashu, trash, don't even be in the same room as me. You're breathing the same air. But the Kiri, but the Kiri, he's, he's like the fucking mad advisor to a king of like, Ooh, don't listen to them, Kiri. Come on, backstab Tokyo me. Take me, Kiri. We can do this together. Wakata. Goku。Inheritance kicked in, man. Daddy died, but here's my inheritance. I got a shitload of command spells now. Oh my fucking god, what is he gonna do with this? And if Gilgamesh becomes his servant, bro, he can use all this shit. Like, oh fuck. Oh fuck. We, oh man, like, I don't think anyone is aware in this current war right now that the man without the servant might be the one most likely to win. So they were. A gift for sure. Is that a Bible passage? Johann's Gospel. Okay. And that's the transfer. Yeah, what are you gonna do about Tokyo Mikire? Mm, I feel like you should backstab him and take me. Empty words, Gilgamesh. Empty words. I know your ass thinks Tokyo Mi is boring and that you want to play with Kire more, bro. If anything, Gilgamesh could have killed Kire whenever he wanted, but he never would. Kire is way too entertaining. Bluff. <laughs> The truth? What do you mean? Isn't an attempt to open a passage to the root through the sacrifice of the souls of the seven here. Tokyo Mi wants to get to the root by having the Grail wish make a wish. But the secret, the true purpose of the grail, this whole holy grail war, is to sacrifice the souls of the seven heroic spirits to open a passage to the roots. That still kind of works for Tokyo in his favor, but who then? So the final person gets the passage to the root, there was no other answer possible? All seven must die. Exactly. 
自らのサーバントを自決させるためが俺に示した忠義は全て嘘偽りだ。Yo, is... Are we crafting Gilgamesh now? I thought that Gilgamesh was always down to just like backstab Tokiomi and go with Kire just for fun. But now Kire is like, yo, Gilgamesh, what do you think is gonna happen at the end, bro? You wanna stick with a guy like that? Mm. Proven his word. He likes it. Because to Gilgamesh, this backstabbing is nothing but a farce, but it's just more content for him, right? It's just more stupid drama that he can just farm. Because he thinks that nothing will ever be above him, right? Yeah, if only there was another master here. Oh, what a crazy thing. There is another master. Oh my god. And hold up. You're the master. What are the odds? You're in front of me, bro. It's almost as if, if I was wanting this from the beginning, Kire. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, what are the odds, man? Is he a Zashu or is he worthy? Oh. Damn. That's an insane compliment coming from Gilgamesh, man. Like, Gilgamesh is... Remember, he's like an Asian dad, right? He'll never say, good job, I'm proud of you. He'll just say, <laughs> that's permissible. It's alright, I guess, but... Potential, right? Fine source of entertainment one day. <laughs> the evil scheming man. Oh, it's happening. Oh, Tokyo me is cooked. Oh no. <laughs> the slice of life moment meeting Rin and Aoi, bro. That true. I mean, it did feel like Tokyo me was prepared to die, right? He is completely prepared to die. He basically said his farewells to his wife and his daughter, but <sighs> how is he gonna die? I still kind of want Karia to do it though. If Toki, if Tokyo was gonna die. Kiri backstabbing would be cathartic just because Toki would never expect it. But to Karia to get his little revenge, it'd be a bit of closure, you know? It's happening right now? It could happen right now. <laughs> this could be it. This could be the moment. <laughs> He about to kill your ass. <laughs> Maybe Tokiomi does know that. Like, what if Tokiomi is aware and he's like, you know what? If this is the only card I can play, at least, like, maybe Kide will at the very least not go after my daughter and wife. Yeah. Oh, I would would hate that shit. Hell no. Shit, Dad, you got everything prepared already. You already made a will. You're gonna give it to Kire? Now Kire's gonna be like, I'm not gonna feel bad now. Chomei to, seijin suru made no kouken nin to shite, kimi o shimei shite oita. Not even Aoi. You gave the guardianship to Kire instead of Aoi because she's not a mage. But still. Kire is uh, he's a church dude. What the fuck? Tokyo me. I know that he has like a plan, but you This dude is gonna be Rin's guardian after he kills Rin's dad? Oh boy. Damn, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Tokyumi is like giving him a will. Alright, you're, 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 you're gonna you be my best student. I give my daughter to you, but you're gonna be her guardian. Here's a gift. Like, bro, I, I, I'm so thankful you've been with me all this time. And Kire will take all this shit and then kill him. What is it? If he uses this to kill Tokyomi right now, oh, it's gonna be so 
poetic. Now, what an end to this character, bro. Yeah, it does end his apprenticeship. Like, it's crazy. Everything is handed on a silver platter right now. There's not a better stage to kill this dude. He's basically just said, he, he, a will. Here's a parting gift. Here's my daughter. What else do you need, kid? What else do you need, kid, before you kill me? Oh, here's a fucking dagger that symbolizes the end of your apprenticeship. <laughs> like, <laughs> いたらぬこの身に重ねがさねお好調感謝の言葉もありますよ感謝だ。マイグラティチュード。これで私は最後の戦いに臨んだ時間か。どうとにバックアンド、どうとにバックアンド。どうとにバックアンド。どうとにバ
will not sacrifice Gilgamesh. Like the the Gilgamesh wouldn't just go into this simply to be sacrificed at the very end with the with the fucking command spell so that we can get a passage to the root, right? No, Kiri doesn't really give a fuck about that, right? At the end of the day, Kiri just wants the power to go chase after Kirisugu to figure out, are you really like me to figure out what I am, what who you are, and figure out his own sense of life and destiny? While Gilgamesh just watches. That's pretty much it, right? This is fucking dangerous, but I wonder if Kire would backstab Gilgamesh too. Maybe the backstabbing was just not over yet. They are way worse than Castor and Ryunosuke because these two are competent. Castor and Ryunosuke, they were just fucking around making sacrifices, chasing over a girl that didn't exist. Kire and Gilgamesh, they have a fucking plan. And they're about to just end this war. And I don't know what Kiri is going to do, but oh man. That's it. The eighth contract. Damn. The eighth contract. Supposed to be only seven masters, seven servants, yet there's an eighth. And what is it? Kotomi Nikire and the King of Heroes Gilgamesh teaming up to make the most fucking crazy team, man. This is getting so fucking bad. For everyone else but us, because obviously this is going to be even more fun. As today's episode explained what's going on with Risei. He's dead, but it sounds like Kide wanted to actually kill Risei before, man. He took his command spells. There's some more conversations between Tokiomi and his wife and daughter. And yeah, 100%. These are fucking death flags. It just sucks that Rin has now... Like, Kide is actually Rin's guardian until she becomes of age. That's kind of weird, but we'll see what happens with that. More talks about alliances, and I'm not sure if that alliance will even happen anymore <laughs> with Tokiomi dead. So yeah, it's probably not happening, right? Or at least like a, some kind of stalemate. What should be the smart thing to do? I don't know. I feel like uh, Ryder is probably the strongest enemy for them, for us and them. So Berserker, how will Berserker go out? What will Karia feel when he realizes... The person that saved him has already killed Tokiomi. I don't know, will it be an empty vengeance? I have no clue, but man, the Gilgamesh and Kirei stuff has been just foreshadowed from the beginning, the early episodes of Fate Zero, as Kirei was such a good little church boy, but Gilgamesh slowly planting his seeds, and the seeds are blossoming. It has bloomed, and now the eighth contract has been made. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.